Hey, this is Tristan at Mahalo. We're at Hip Cook's Cooking School in West Los Angeles. And today I'm going to show you how to make some basic basil pesto. Pesto is a great topping for sandwiches, pasta, chicken, and fish, and very versatile as far as the ingredients that you put into it. So the first step is the garlic. One clove of garlic, a really easy way to get this tricky skin off, is just take your knife and whack it down, and all that skin will come off nice and easily. It doesn't matter what that clove looks like because it's going into the Cuisinart. All right, Let's give that a whirl. Okay. If you don't have a Cuisinart or food processor at home, you can use a blender or a mortar and pestle will work as well. Okay, about one teaspoon of salt. And about a fourth a cup of nuts. Today I've chosen to use walnuts. Traditional pesto has pine nuts. But pine nuts tend to be really expensive, so I wanted to show you guys a different option. Uh, so I chose walnuts today. So about a fourth a cup of whole walnuts. Okay, don't blend it so it becomes a paste. Just blend it so you have nice little pieces of walnut. We can kind of see in there what that looks like. Okay. All righty. So after the walnuts go in, Parmesan cheese, and this is one part that can be pretty versatile with pesto as well. You can use pecorino cheese, which is nice, but think about dry, flaky cheeses. Those will be the best for your pesto. Give that a blend. Okay. So this is a step-by-step -step process. So this is, and this is what you'll want to be doing at home. Add one thing, blend, add one thing, blend. So it's time to add the basil, which makes for the traditional pesto. And I picked this out of my garden because I had it available. If you don't have basil available, you can also use parsley. Uh, that makes for a really wonderful, tasty pesto. So this is about a cup and a half of leaves. I give them a little tear and put them into the food processor. Okay and let that go. Okay, once that's all blended, it's time for the final step and that's adding the olive oil. Choose extra virgin olive oil, which is nice dark green because that will add a lot of nice flavor to your pesto. So remove the, remove the top because while this is on, I'll be pouring in about a half a cup of olive oil. So at this time that we taste it, yum. And we're tasting for salt content, and that tastes nice and salty, and basil-y and nutty. So that is our that is our basil pesto. I'm gonna go cook up some pasta and make myself lunch. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.